What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, who may be new to the channel, I am a digital marketer. I specialize in helping artists like yourself get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, like Instagram, like YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is the dark side of going viral. Now, ever since I made my How To Go Viral video, I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys talking about that. That's pretty much the same thing that you like to do for yourself. And I understand, I get it, going to sleep and waking up famous does sound like the dream, but I'm here to break it to you guys that actually can be some negatives and a downside to going viral. But before we get into all of that, follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to put my at name somewhere on the screen so you guys can come like some pictures and engage with me. You know, especially since you guys are always talking about, I never put it anywhere for y'all to find it. Now, with that being said, let's get Get right into it now one of the first downsides of going viral is that it doesn't allow you to necessarily build a team to handle everything that comes with all of this newfound attention now when you do go viral and I'm talking about really viral like viral viral you literally have hundreds and thousands of people trying to reach out to you and get your attention from press to publicists to booking agents to everybody and if you're somebody who literally was nobody the day before and now you have all these people trying to get at you you may not necessarily have the right people around you to make sure that you make the right decisions when moving forward to make sure that you have someone to respond back to these people in a timely manner in a professional way so that you don't mess up your business so if going viral really is your goal is really something that you want to do make sure that you're building up your team around you in the process of making sure that this happens so that once it does happen you're prepared to handle everything that comes with it and secondly it doesn't allow you time to build a core fan base now you might be thinking to yourself I have hundreds of of thousands of new people listening to me why do I need a core fan base and that's actually where you will find yourself to be wrong if you were to sit down and really think about the acts within the past let's say five years that really went viral like viral viral but we're not listening to them today most of their problems can be attributed to the fact that they didn't really have a fan base before they went viral now once you get to the point where all of the press isn't talking about you and the Instagram pages aren't posting you and no one's really talking about you on that large of a scale your core fan base is the group of people that's going to hold it down for you they're going to be the group of people who pretty much ride for you through those turbulent times that comes after going viral and if you haven't took the time out to build up a core fan base then you pretty much don't have a cushion to fall back on once all the attention dies down and lastly another downside to going viral is that it can trap you within the gimmick so once again if you think about any act within the last five years that went viral because of a gimmick we pretty much don't take them serious because of that exact same gimmick now the problem with the internet comes in the fact that we treat everything like a snapshot right memes and funny videos are pretty much snapshots of a certain time period and once we get tired of that time period we move away from everything that has to do with it so once you build your whole career off of going viral off of a gimmick you pretty much get the same effect once we get tired of that gimmick we get tired of the time frame in which that gimmick was built in or built around then we tend to move past you and it as well and move on to the next thing the next gimmick of that time frame that we are interested in at the moment now other problems can also arrive later down the line once you're trying to rebrand yourself or you're trying to step into different opportunities and you can do those opportunities because we remember you for the gimmick the one thing that really put you on the one thing that made you go viral and you know the internet guys once it's out there you pretty much can't escape it so it is something to think about especially if you're someone who thinks about doing crazy wild things to go viral think about the lasting impact that it really can have on your career think about the type of artist that you hope to grow into and where you see yourself in the future and really think before you post that video or you post that content or whatever is this going to affect me in the long run and will i like the effect that it will have on me in the long run so just to give you guys a little recap i know that most of you have thought about going to sleep waking up finding out that you went viral and trust me i know it does sound good it pretty much sounds like the easy way out but there can be some dark sides to going viral one you don't have enough time to build up a team to help you handle everything that comes with it two you don't really get enough of time to build up a solid core fan base and three you can become trapped within the gimmick now as always guys if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as i wouldn't want you guys to miss anything once again my name is corey and i'll see y'all next time